Welcome back to Miracle Park. I think that today will probably be our last day here. Very sad, but next week the new Parkitect DLC comes out, which is the most exciting thing ever. I started playing this just in time. So next week we'll probably start a new park with all the new bits. The thing I'm most excited about is there's going to be a River Rapids ride. And apparently, according to the notes, it's been incredibly difficult for them to implement, but it's the one thing I really miss. Because there was nothing better than creating ridiculous River Rapids rides in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so I am very excited about that. Speaking of very excited, this is what we created last night. It is the space area, which I created kind of by accident when I realised there was more than one space themed coaster. I'm still convinced there's another one. I think there's an absolutely gigantic one that I decided not to put in because it was messing up my park and messing up my frame rate. Making me loads of money though. This is the most profitable, profitable park I've ever managed in my life. However, one thing I have noticed again and again before we continue with any new building is this thing keeps breaking down, which makes me think it's probably not safe anymore. No, 86% must just be subject to breaking, which is a bit of a shame. I've also noticed, look at my bin. Ugh. Ugh. It's amazing how you start getting an eye for this stuff. Normally, why would you notice that? But you just like, there's a bin there. That needs emptying. Sort it out. Horrible. Right, this is working again. We won't go on that because it will make you very sick. And if you're anything like me and you've just had four slices of pizza, you are not going to want to go on a ride that makes you sick. What I said instead was we would start perhaps working down here. But as I say, I'm not going to do anything too spectacular because Miracle Park will be no more after today, I think. What I did notice was another roller coaster with um, sort of in some trees, which I thought would be quite cool to put in this gap. But I can't remember which one it was. It was while we were going through all of these different bits and bobs. It's certainly none of the vertical ones. Tiger in... Um, uh, Twitch. Can't, can't talk. Too tired. Tiger in Twitch says, what type of pizza? It was a good fellas. Was it a good fellas one? I can't remember. No, Chicago down, town. Chicago town takeaway pizza it was. It was very good. I'm going to eat the rest of it later because I quite like it cold. Right, we've got blue snake jungle. That sounds kind of cool. Mm. Oh, let's put that in. I like that. There we go. Oh, it's even got little benches. Awesome. Oh, listen to them. You can hear them. All the little guests not screaming, which is something. Right, so we've got one seven car train. Let's get that testing. Bung the price up. I should put some special adverts out saying you need to come to Miracle Park because it won't be open for very much longer. Uh, it 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 was just a, like a margarita. It was like one of these like seven kinds of cheese ones. I didn't have anything extra I could put on top of it this time. Right, here it goes. Here we come with the test. Oh, these suspended coaster rules are always so weird. It's like, oh god, there's nothing keeping me in. Although, actually, though, we are standing in something. That's kind of cool. Ooh, twisty! Yeah! Hey, hey. Oh, through the trees. Oh, I've got a ding. An insta-ding today. Oh, nice flowers. I'm going to assume that's somebody hosting me because, for some reason, when you host me, it doesn't tell me in the chat, and I don't know why, but thank you. Fatter than most in Twitch has arrived and says, I see, I just arrived for pizza talk. Absolutely. Mmm, pizza. Right, that looks like it's going to be a super exciting ride. It's very high, medium, very low. Amazing. Let's get them in. Let's get them in. Now, am I going to need a sign for the stupid people? I am, as usual. I do wish the people who designed these would perhaps put the sign in automatically so that I don't have to stop the stupid people. No entry for guests. You fools. Anyway, 
Welcome to Old oh, Chansey Channel. Hello to you. There's plenty of people about this afternoon. I say this is only going to be a reasonably short one because my eyes hurt. And there's, it's no good having hurty eyes when you're trying to stream. It's not fun. Right, let's put some benches along here. Nice little wooden ones. Do, do, do. Leave gaps for lights and bins. There we go. Put a lamp there. Put a little bin there. Put another lamp there. Ding! Awesome. Hello to Rave Enigma in YouTube, or hello, as he says. Have you not fixed your O key yet? What is wrong with your O key? Have you spilt hot chocolate on it? That happened to me at work many years ago, where I accidentally spilt some hot chocolate on my keyboard. I thought, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then little by little, it started to, it must have started to kind of drain down the keyboard. And at the point at which I lost my E key, I decided that I probably needed to do something about it. Yeah. Hello to Ligomatic in YouTube and to Russell in YouTube. What is that, Russell? Is that a roller coaster? Have you found the roller coaster icon in YouTube? That's wicked. Hello to Space Hamster, also in YouTube. Very nice to have you all here. Um, I was going to say something about Twitch then. Oh yeah, the icon is still pending. And it's now a swan rather than a piece of pizza, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, swan icons are going to be a thing, but I need... I think I need something like seven more subscribers to unlock another icon. At which point we would unlock the Go Jenny icon. Unfortunately, they haven't been approved yet, so patience. Okay, right, let's put some more bins in. People are just desperate for a sit down, aren't they? It's tiring. It's tiring. Ravenigma says, not hot chocolate, but I did spill a drink on my keyboard. Oh dear. Fatter than most says, I haven't slept since yesterday's stream, so I'm going slightly mad. That's okay. You'll fit in very well here, it has to be said. Uh-oh. A crash in a knee by theme park has scared potential customers. Oh no. That's not good. It's not like my theme park ever has crashes or anything. God's sake. Anyway. <laughs> what? Only one. There's only one. I'm really hoping we're not having another one before the end of today because that would suck. Incidentally, if Astragali turns up, we need to remind him we've named a ride after him. So let's not forget that. As this is probably going to be the last episode, no, this is going to be the last episode from Miracle Park, I'm going to get that massive space ride and put it in, except I can't remember which kind of roller coaster it was. Massive space ride, was it a Geiger coaster? Nope. The Space Trainer 4000, which makes everybody scream like they're really not enjoying themselves, is the space coaster. The screaming on that ride terrifies me. I mean, genuinely, who did they get to record it and how? Did they chase after them with I don't know, like sharks or something? I don't know, but it's not good. Launch force, that wasn't it. It's definitely space something. Space camp? Space... I can't remember. But anyway, it's to do with space and now I have to go through all of these again. Space camp. Space camp. There it is. That's the one. It's only going to cost me half my money. You see, ideally, I kind of wanted to put it, like, here or somewhere around here so that the monorail actually went through it, but I don't think it's possible. So we're going to pop it down here, which makes the space area very, very big. Doink! Check that out. That's amazing! Let's get some spacey paths in. Gravel sidewalk slabs. Sidewalk slabs I actually want, isn't it? I think I've been putting gravel down by accident. Not that anybody seems to care. I like the sidewalk slabs being next to food things. Local Numpty says space is kind of big. That's true. That's true. That's my excuse. Rather than just being shockingly designed park. There we go. Okay. Space Hamster says they might have held them over a cliff to get that screaming noise. That's awful. I know. How about that lift where the floor has a screen in it and then it looks like the floor's disappeared, which is like one of the worst YouTube videos I've ever seen. It was evil. 
evil, I tell you. Anyway, speaking of evil, this looks amazing, doesn't it? That's going to be an eight or nine dollar job. Extreme. It's going to be extreme excitement. Do I want just one train? I know I want two trains with slightly fewer cars because you can get more people through. So, guys, this is going to be awesome. Let's budget for this. Let's get on it and test it and see what it's like. It might be absolutely terrifying. Oh, it's got a windsock. Here's my little queue line. I say mine. Somebody else designed this. I like that. We're in a big greenhouse. Oh, hello. Is everybody okay? I hope you haven't just eaten pea foods, because if you have, this is going to be really awful. God, look at the restraints in this. There are hardly any restraints. That's going to hurt. Anyway, woo! Oh, God. Um, why are we coming back down again? Is that what it does? Or is it just not working properly? I didn't design this. Has that just failed? I'm going to be really annoyed if something that I got off from somewhere else has failed. Are you kidding me? This is the last blinking time we're going to go to this park, and you've sold me a duff ride. Boo. Oh. 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 What's going on? What is going on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But we did manage to get up the tower. Has it failed? Horribly. Why have we changed seats? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing's going on. I'm assuming it's just failed. Well, that sucks. It's not my roller coaster. Only my roller coasters fail. So does it need like another, another shooty bit? That's really weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. We can just crush space camp and do something else. But that's really annoying. Just in case it was a test issue, I'm going to try again. at some point. Yes? Yes? Have you started talking now? That's terrifying. Right, here we go. Right, it's got a shooty thing. Look, you can see it. Oh, no! I thought we'd made it. We haven't made it. Somebody has sold me a duff thing. Maybe I need to change the speed of the shooty thing. Because you can do that sometimes. Chain lift speed. Ten. Let's set it to ten instead. I think somebody sold me a duff ride here. I'm not happy. Oh well, it's why it's called testing anyway. Plenty of people here this happy, happy Sunday. If by happy, I mean dark and wet. Why would you want to be out there when you could be up here? Space Hamster says it needs more oomph. Let's try and see whether this oomphs. Oomph! Ooh! Did we get a bit further, do you think? Or am I just imagining things? Damn it. Needs a lot more oomph. Let's oomph it up. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Somebody dies. That's not even the worst that can happen. There's much worse, like people dropping their litter and stuff. It would be quite good if you kind of just hung very slightly at the top, as if you think, oh god, we're going to come back down again, and then you don't come back down again. Zarlark says, crank it up to 15. Russell in YouTube says, set the speed to max. Space Hamster wants it to fly off the track into actual space. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think that's actually making any difference, but I'm hoping. I don't understand. I didn't design this rubbish. It's not one of mine! Ugh. Right, let's bung it up to 16. Never mind 15. I don't want your stupid wimpy 15. Let's set it to 16 and see if it makes any difference. But I don't know whether it's actually reading that. This probably came with instructions that said, you will need to set your chairlift speed or chain lift speed. Sorry, not chairlift. There are no chairlifts in this yet. Chain lift speed to 16 to get it to work, but I wouldn't have read any instructions because I don't. Right, here we go, guys. No, that's not making any difference. Boo. Boo. Well, what can you do? 
Nothing, nothing else. I mean, it's even got fewer cars per train. I'm going to have to see whether I can actually amend this. The problem is it looks quite sort of, I don't know. Let's find out, because otherwise it's just a waste of time, isn't it? So, if I delete that bit of the track, then we have a... Was it a four slope? I think it might have been a four slope. No. Was it a straight up? Is that the problem? That there's no boost on the straight up? What options have I got here? Launch. Can't build on steep slopes. Okay. Let's rebuild that. And... Hmm. Because we're not far off, are we? I suppose I could take, like, I could kind of nick the top off the tower. Let's try doing that and just see if that works. Now, just need to bear in mind, let me get rid of this scenery bit, that that top bit's got a break on it, okay? We need to remember it's got a break. Okay, so, if I do... Um, like a sort of smaller slope so that's like the smallest slope i can i can have oh it just did it just fall back down then did you see mm. is that at the same height as it was before <laughs> or have i managed to reduce it i'm not actually sure no it's still not reaching is it right so let's bring this down to about there maybe Let's try that. And then this looks like it needs brakes. That might even be the problem, you know. The brakes might be the problem. Because it's not actually getting over, is it? Oh, that looked slightly more promising. But the problem is that now I've got to bring it back down again. That's straight down from there instead. Aha! Aha! Right, okay, this looks promising. Let's get rid of these parts here. It's just typical, isn't it, that in the very last episode of this park, I've been sold a duff ride. I'm not amused. But at least it means I have to do it myself. Might even be better. I hope this doesn't break it completely. It might turn out there was a reason why it was like that, but anyway. Right, so straight down. And then... Can I... Get... If I do that, I think this is going to have to be raised up slightly. Oh, actually, no, it does connect. There we go. Right. Right. I am a roller co coaster builder. Space Hamster says, at least you didn't build it badly. Well, that's true. I didn't. I didn't. Right. Here we go then, guys. We're going to try again. Can we get over the hump this time? This is where the Go Jenny icon would have been quite a good one. But I need to say I need seven more subscribers, I think, in Twitch to unlock that. Right. Here we go, guys. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Nyang. Eee. Round the rock. Nyang. Round this bit. Zoom. Through the tower, through the thing, down the thing, round the thing. All the rest of it's just down and round and airtime. Yay, it's working. Yay. Yeah, I did a thing. <laughs> Go me. That doesn't happen very often. The question is, though, what's it? What's it? It's excitement. Whoa! It's now ultra extreme intensity. Holy moly! Do you think anybody will want to get on it? Let's find out. <laughs> Might find this is a ride that absolutely nobody wants to go on because of that amazing drop. But let's see. Let's find out. This has cost me a heck of a lot of money, so people have better want to get on it. Uh, Chansey in YouTube says, is this the last Miracle Park episode or the last overall Parkitect episode? It's the last Miracle Park episode because 
I want to start a new part next week with the DLC. DLC, there's DLC. Started playing Parkitect again just in time. So next week there's DLC with all sorts of bits and pieces, but there's also a free update and I'm really interested in that because it comes with things like vouchers for food. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you used to be able to do like an advert where you'd give a free soft drink or ice cream or something and they'd come in. And the way to um, the way to use that was to have a part where you pay an entrance fee rather than pay by the individual ride. So that's really exciting. I'm hoping that it will make parks where you just pay one entrance fee a bit more viable. You should be able to lure people in. Lure them in with the ice creams. Right, is anybody going to be brave enough to go on my ultra extreme... That's insane, actually. That is completely insane. I've got a feeling nobody's wanna go, going to want to go on it. Let's speed things up a bit to see whether anybody accepts the challenge. Somebody's just gone in there. They're climbing the... Oh, they're not climbing the queue line. Oh, it needs an idiot sign. I thought... I thought you were going in to ride the ride, not to be an idiot. <sighs> How frustrating. Right, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Go go, go on the coaster. Go on the coaster. They're not interested. <clears throat> There's a very good reason for that, namely that that drop would probably kill you. Or give you a stroke. No, nobody's interested. And Blue Snake Jungle is broken. I've only just put that in. Right, in you come. In you come. Come on, you know you want to. No, he doesn't want to. <laughs> I think maybe this is just a bit too crazy. Okay, okay. I take the point. It's that first drop. It's way too high. Funnily enough, it was higher than that, wasn't it? It was higher than that. I mean, that doesn't look too bad to me. But anyway, right. I think the best thing to do, because I really like that hang at the top, is I'm just going to have to clip the top off again. Maybe actually it's the speed as well. Is that initial launch a bit crazy for people? Wimps. Absolute wimps. Anyway, let's sort this out. That's not quite as bad, is it? Or is that as bad as it was before? Let's do that. And then we have a little one like that. And then... We have that, that start like that, and then it starts going down like that, and then I think it has to go straight down. Ah, ah. Actually, that might be better. That might be better, because it's not quite as crazy. The thing is, I want it to be crazy. That's the point. <laughs> ah, so annoying. So annoying. Right, let's get that tested again. I don't think we really want to go on it again, but we're going on it again. I don't want this entire episode to be us going on this stupid... Oh, hang on, it's gone already. Right, bye then. No. <laughs> Whoops. It's because I've got it on super mega ultra speed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh god, no, we don't want to get on halfway through. I mean, that drop is not horrific, is it? Space Hamster in YouTube says you need to hire a lot of cleaners as food and roller coasters don't go well together. It's very true, they don't... They really don't. Right, why is this not letting me on now? Let me on! Thank you. Personally, I don't think this is ultra extreme. Something's not right with that. I wonder whether it's just that initial launch is a bit too quick. And then you hang, and then you come back down. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad to me. I don't know what the problem is. I think that's pretty cool for a space ride. Let's see what it comes in at this time. It might be that I just have to bring the chain lift down a bit. Zarlark in Twitch says I've just got some lunch. I will wait until after the ride to eat it. I think that's probably a very good idea. Don't eat your pea foods and then get on a hyper coaster. Right, how are we doing? Is it still really bad? Right, let's bring... I don't think the chain lift speed is actually making any difference in this, but let's bring it down to what it was. I think it was at eight. This sucks, because I don't want people to not get on my ride. It's a cool ride. Right, let's just 
close it and reopen it again. Ding! Ha ha ha! I don't know who's saying that, but I agree completely. Let's just pin that there. Let's go again and hope that it makes it up. In the meantime, I'm going to make a whole load of money on candy. Right, what is the problem? Blue Snake Jungle's broken down again. That's a new ride. Oh, now it's not getting anywhere. <laughs> oh no. Okay, right, fine. Point taken. Um, where was my speed? Oh, it's there. I will set it to nine. So you can at least get off the first corner. I'm sure it was eight when I first got the ride, so... I don't quite know where the problem is here, but I'm not amused. I don't want to have to destroy it. I will destroy it, though. Be in no doubt that I will destroy it if I can't get this working. And people riding it, because it sucks otherwise. Right, there's the launch. And it's gone over, that's good. Maximum velocity is 101 kilometers per hour, which really isn't that bad. Right, I need you to be less than ultra extreme, please. Because I need to make my money on this. There's a sedate little monorail going past in the distance. Right, how are we? How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, it's... You've got to be kidding me. That's just gone... What? That's just gone up! It's now excitement medium and intensity, like, even more ultra extreme than it was before. Ah! Right, I'm closing the roller coaster. And I'm destroying the roller coaster. Right, and what I'm going to do... Bye! I'm going to leave all the scenery. I'm going to get the original track. And I'm going to build it without the scenery so that I can hopefully just put the track back in. There we go. Check that out. Oh, got a ding. It's Plumpy. Plumpy has just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you, Plumpy. I don't know who you are. Who are you? I do not know. I've just realised I've put that in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's try that again. That's actually below the scenery. Sorry, I got distracted by the ding. Hello to Dojen in YouTube. Right, let's try again. Let's try again. I'm really annoyed. I'm really annoyed. Right, build without scenery. And then what we'll have to do is lift it up. You raise me up so I can ride my coaster. Except you don't because you keep moving because it's so big. Right, so where does this belong? It's actually easier to see it from this side, but it won't. Stay on the screen! Stay on the sc Stay on the blinking screen! Right, where does it... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not right. Was it there? No, that looks like it's... Uh-oh. Was it there? Does that look right? Maybe? Can't tell. Let me get rid of my scenery. Does that look in? No, that can't be in either because now it's created a tunnel. Oh, I've got it all wrong. I'm just getting this all wrong. This is stressing me out. Why did I decide to have a space coaster? <laughs> Why? Right, let's try that a third time. Thank God you get your money back, eh? Right, build without scenery, space camp. And I'm, that's the most I can zoom out. So, if we do this by entrances and exits, the entrance and the exit should actually be here. Ah, right. It's somewhere around here instead. That's really difficult to see. doesn't look right either. Oh, this is just annoying as hell. In a minute I'm going to give up and I'm going to find a working one instead. Right, so that should fit into there, but that still doesn't look like it's connected properly, does it? Meanwhile, the screaming from the other ride is frankly horrific. Right, I'm going to pop that in. Is that right now? No, it's still not right. Oh, I was one out. I was one out. 
Drat. I wonder whether it's just never going to let me build this. I might have to do a complete scenery destruction moment. Which, in fairness, is quite fun. There? Oh, it's not letting me put it down. There, there, there. Can't be there. There, there. There. Right, I think we're back. I think we're back to the original ride. Yes, we are. I've done it. Right, so. So the problem with this is it doesn't get up the ramp. Or it wasn't getting up the ramp. But if I bring the ramp down really weirdly, it decides it's too hyper extreme, which is really daft. Hmm. Let's see what it does. I can hear somebody going, Aah! I think it's because they're so desperate to get on this ride, they wonder why it keeps closing. Right. Kapow! Oh, it's made it! It's made, it's made it! It's done it! For God's sake. For... what? Ugh. Ugh. Right, good. Let's hope that these ratings come in properly. How really frustrating is that? <laughs> Space Hamster says the cars are quite large. Perhaps you could reduce the amount of them. Well, actually, I did. <laughs> they they had nine things. Or, oh, actually, has it gone back to the original one now? Okay, so one car with nine is getting up. Maybe, I don't know, does it need some weight behind it? It was close, but I like the close. I like the fact that it doesn't quite make it and you think, oh god, we're not going to make it, and then it goes. Because that's kind of like space. In a strange way. Right, is anybody going to get on my ride now? Because I've spent a lot of money on this. Even if I have actually made that money back, because the rest of the park is so staggeringly profitable. <laughs> awesome. Right, let's go on the, the real one now. Let's go on the real one now. This is what it's supposed to do. Mm. Yay! I like that. I like the kind of change of perspective there, where it looks like you should be, um, like going downwards. But it looks like you're going through a tunnel. I like it. I like it. I love it. It's great. And then you go really close to the monorail, and then through a little bit of glass tunnel, you can see the other car going up. And then you go wee 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 wee. wee. Lots of airtime through the monorail track, through the monorail track, and back into the station. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it should be. Hello, man with absurdly large sombrero. Thank you for coming to my ride. Has anybody had any thoughts about it yet? I want to go on hypercoaster. Yes, you do. That is the correct attitude. Notice it's left my sign in there. I don't know what they think they're going to get. In fact, I'm going to put it on that door instead because... Otherwise, they're going to spend their whole time just wandering in. And I don't want them wandering in unless they're going to pay. Actually, what I could do, I could make that even more definitive, you know. Oh, I think I just got rid of... Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, what I could do... I'm sorry, sir, I know you want to sit down, but I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put a sign here. So there is absolutely no doubt whatsoever that you cannot get in there. I will replace the bench with my space bench. Because we're all going to need to sit down after this one. And then if you weren't here yesterday, look at the trash bins. Little rockets. They're brilliant. Dojan in YouTube says the scenery is really nice. It is, isn't it? It's really lovely. I like getting things off Steam Workshop. We were talking about this yesterday. I love all the little rides that you can get off Steam Workshop. And you pop them in and you get awesome things. I can't remember whether this one is off Steam Workshop or whether this was in the game originally, but it is great. Right, I need people to come over here. Oh, incidentally, there will have been a few people who weren't here for yesterday's episode when we built the space things. Would you like to go on the space things? They are terrifying. This is the one that makes everybody scream like you wouldn't believe. This ride is the difference between nice, happy kind of yelling and screaming and people being genuinely terrified for their lives. Oh, Chansey says, I think you've blocked the exit. Bloody hell. Oh no, if I block the exit, we're in trouble. Oh, there's a robot. Look, robot. We'll go on this. And then we'll go and check out my exits. Hello, sir. Have you got green hair? Have you got a hat on? He's got a hat on. He's got a little Robin Hood hat on. That's awesome. 
That reminds me of 80s Lego figures. Anyway, into the nice little bit of mist that I put there. And then we get launched into the air with the greatest of ease. And then we come down very slowly. That's way more intense than that other ride we were on. And then a lot of things happen that we can barely see. Because <laughs> the problem with this game is the scenery is a bit iffy. And then we see the Earth and then we see the Moon and then we see whatever that is. I think it's a telescope and then we see a rocket. And then the brakes open like that. And they slow us down and we go over the top of everybody and we wave at them. And we go past the blue bushes I put in yesterday, which I'm very proud of. And we say, thank god that's over. <laughs> it's brilliant though, isn't it? I mean, that is a ridiculous ride. That speed is not even with me speeding it up. Unbelievable. Zar Lark says, be right back, and read right be right back, I need a bag. <laughs> Space Hamster says, Oh my god, that's mental. Right, what have I done with my exit here then? What have I done with my exit? Excuse me, sir. Are you having to have... Oh, it's a woman. Are you having to have a sit down? I don't blame you after getting on that. <laughs> oh, no, you haven't been on it. What are you doing sitting there? Oh, he was happy, though. Everett Bush. Bloody loved it. Look at that. Wow. Right, I haven't blocked the exit. Because what I've done is blocked the exit for staff. Sorry, try that again. I've blocked the exit for idiots. I love the way that... People are having to just have a quick sit down after they've got off that ride. <laughs> but that all looks like it's working pretty well to me. People are escaping. Yeah, so that ride is completely insane. Um, and then there's this one as well. That one is particularly insane. That's like the most insane one. But we're going to go on this one now as well. This is called Space Camp 4000. Which we renamed last night. Oh no, it isn't. Sorry, that's Star Shuttle. Sorry, that's that's the sorry, that's Space Trainer Four Thousand. Sad Sacks Space Trainer Four Thousand. After Sad Sack subscribed last night, this one is the Star Shuttle, which isn't quite as bad. Oh, we don't want to get off it halfway through, do we? We just need to wait for some cars to come in so that we can go from the beginning. What we should probably do before we leave Miracle Park is ride every single ride. Are we all up for that? Rather than building any more rides, we just ride every single ride. And then we do a huge highlight video of it. <laughs> Actually, that would be really cool. I like that idea. Let's do that. There's lots and lots of rides. Right, here we go then. This one has quite a fast chain lift hill. Chugga, 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 chugga. And then it goes straight into the old banking. We do like a bit of banking. Zoom. Up we go. That's a really weird inversion. <laughs> oh, look at this one coming up. This is horrific. No! <laughs> And then it stops and then it starts again. <laughs> Woohoo! You see, it's very twisty turny that one, but it's just not got the intensity of the other one. The other one just makes people scream their heads off. Let's see what the difference is. This one is 73 50 25. This one is 66, 68, 30. And Space Camp, 81, 68, 21. Phew, not many people on this. I need to advertise it. Probably need to advertise the park as well as it's August. Let's do that. I will select an attraction and we will put it on social media for three months, which is very expensive. And then we will do park advertisements. And this is super expensive, but we will also put that on social media. Because I need people to come to my space bit. Somebody's gone, just gone, yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, Timo Twister is broken now, great. Any 
anybody in the queue. Just one person. That's bad. That's bad, because I need to make money off it. It cost me a fortune. Look at my expenses on this. Look at my revenue. It's terrible. Anyway, a few more people want to go on it now. I wonder if I could make another path from somewhere. Oh, yes. I could. We could go down the side of this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, oh, hang on. Wrong kind of path. We're not in the space bit yet. Okay, so you walk to here along the little bridge. And then you go past that tunnel. And you get deposited exactly opposite the queue line for Super Mega Ride. Oh, God, that's such a satisfying sound. Right, there we go. I should get a few more people in. I'll just put some benches and lights and trash bins before they whinge, because they will. I mean, if you don't want there to be trash all over the floors, don't throw your trash all over the floors. It's just a thought. There we go. Well, wow. I agree. Completely. Also put a little fence bit there so that you can't get hit by that roller coaster. <laughs> God. Oh, somebody's walking back. Do you need to sit down? Everybody else does. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. That gives a few more options at least. Right, I think that we should probably ride some rides. What do you reckon? I'd really like to ride all the rides in Miracle Park because they are amazing. While you're giving your, me your opinion on that, I'm going to pop some more benches and lights in. Some of you have never seen this place before. Look, little spacey lights. So cool. And they make proper light as well, those lights. Some of the lamps are a bit rubbish. Oh, hang on. There was already one there. Right, is anybody coming this way? No, just staff. Oh, a few people have started realising. This ride, incidentally, is also completely insane. We went on that yesterday and we weren't very happy about it afterwards. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Mary Price? She's been on Silver Streak five times! Whoa! Look at the tiredness. We'll just have a seat. Just just sit down. Don't go on this when you're tired. Have a seat. Like this other Mary, who's been on the mine train co coaster four times. Blimey. Crazy. Zarlark in Twitch says, I vote for something nice and easy. Well, we'll be getting on nothing if it rains. Boo. <laughs> Retro Mickey on YouTube says, did you enjoy your cake? Did I enjoy my cake? I can't remember what cake we're talking about. Are we talking about funnel cake? Because <laughs> everybody likes a bit of funnel cake. Oh god, that's screaming. It's getting to me now, it's getting to me. Right, let's start over here. Chocolate cake. Oh, do you mean the one the from the other day? The chocolate cake from Waitrose, the fondant icing was very, very thick. Much thicker than I would have liked, but it was tasty. You won't be wanting cake, incidentally, for the rest of this stream, because we're going to go on all the rides. Okay, then. It's time to go on all of the rides in Miracle Park. We will begin with a nice sedate one. Well, it's not sedate at all, actually. I hate this ride, and you might want to look away if you're anything like me and you don't like being twisted round. This is ride number one. Queen Cups. I already feel sick, but that pink colour is lovely. In fact, it's delightful. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I don't like that. 
It's not very popular, is it? It's probably because it's out on its own in the middle of nowhere. That is just the most vomit-inducing thing ever. Oh. Are we stopping now? Please, can we stop? I don't like it. Oh, look at them. Oh, a romantic couple there. Oh, how nice. She's probably about to be sick all over him, but anyway. So that was Queen Cups. Next to that, we then built two utterly farcical roller coasters. The first one is called Vanilla Ice Cream, and the other one is called Wiggly Wiggly Water. <clears throat> this is Vanilla... Oh, hang on. No, wrong set of carriages. We just have to wait for the first set of carriages to come back. Maybe we could go on Wiggly Wiggly Water instead. There we go. I particularly like this ride because you can see all of the other roller coasters going round and round and round you. Anybody joining me? Oh, yep. Here they come. Oh, one of them really needs the toilet. Please don't go to the toilet on Wiggly Wiggly Water. That's not the intention. Oh, please don't get on next to me. Oh, you better not do anything. I mean it. I wouldn't sit next to him, you know. Anyway, right, we're off. So I had some issues with getting this up the hills, but I think we're okay now. I've just made the chain lift quite powerful, which means we get thrown around a lot more. Here we go! The water will clip, by the way, because it doesn't really cope with being under the ground very much, but... Whoa, indeed. I agree. So now we go up actually through vanilla ice cream, which I think is amazing. And then we get down into an even bigger drop here. Splash. And from here we can see all the other roller coasters dropping and realise that we're about to get absolutely soaked by water jets that I've put in the wrong place, but it's fine. And then this bit I'm sure is actually actively dangerous, but if you needed to dry out we've just gone over some fire and now we're going to get wet again. <clears throat> And then into the final splash, which will get you really wet, because it goes around a bend. And then this ride has a slightly unexpected moment at the end of it, where we go back up, and we go round and we see the fire. And then there's a whacking great drop into the station, and we clang into the car in front. But it's fine. Are we going to slow down enough this time? No. Phew! Not great, but anyway. Now hopefully we can get on vanilla ice cream from the start. Are we loading up? No, we're not loading up. Ow! Hurry up with the loading. Local Numpty says we should have called that one Whip Splash. Actually, yes, we could have called that Whip Splash. But we've called it Wiggly Wiggly Water. <laughs> Okay, right. Here we go. This is the start of vanilla ice cream, and you will scream. Hello! Oh, hello. I've become a man with a red hat. Oh, I've got a watermelon hat on. Excellent. That's Skyfall over there. That one in the background is called silver streak. Right, time for us to go. Let's go. Thank you. This is actually quite a good ride. I put that drop tower in deliberately so that you can go up to the ride and have a closer look at it. You get a pretty good view of the rest of the park, unless you've got somebody sitting next to you who's really angry. Okay, here we go then with the first drop! Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad, this one. There's the cups we've just been on. There's the fire! 
Nine people did not die on that ride years ago. <clears throat> And we come round here to prepare you for the next drop. We get a really good view, unless the view distance cuts out. <laughs> we get quite a good view of the rest of the park. And then, oh my words, yikes! Into the tunnel. All the way round. Up, oh, bit of airtime. Down. Round. And in. I think that's a pretty good ride, and so do all of these people. Excellent. They're loving it. Meanwhile, we've got this quite sedate one that I didn't build. This is called Jungle Coasters. The scenery on this is amazing. And I think the track looks like an octopus tentacle, which makes me laugh. There's my little monorail. Beautiful scenery, I think you'll agree. The drops on this, not too bad, but scary tree. That's because we're next to the haunted house. I love rides like this. Big open sweeping curves. It's glorious. Up we go. And in we come. There we go. We can all relax after that one. Because the other ones have been monumentally horrific. We then put in this. Which is very slow so we can all calm down. This is Astra's Taxis. And Astra's Taxis takes you on a really lovely ride in an old-fashioned carping through the trees and into this beautiful flower garden. And for some reason it has fire. I don't know why it has fire. I didn't put it there. And it has this amazing watery bit. There's a door there. I didn't notice that. There's a door in the middle of nowhere. We go over this pond. And you can see the rocks from the mine train coaster, which we will go on in a moment. Hello, everybody wave. Everybody wave at the other riders. Yay! Oh, they look really happy. She's almost asleep. Some more flowers and trees. Nice little lamp. Screaming, coughing, vomiting. I like these flowers with the sort of twisty middles. And then we come to this nice little station with all the flowers. That one, we can all agree, is not going to make you sick, hopefully. We then move on to this mine train coaster ride. Where we sit in the front of this train and wonder what we've let ourselves in for. Hello! 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 Oh, you need the toilet, so don't sit next to me. Oh, oh, you are me. I need the toilet now, thanks. Oh my goodness! Why so grumpy? Oh, well, you won't be grumpy after this. This ride's cool. Lovely little waterfall. You can see how twisty this is going to get. Here we go. It's running away. Ah! Air time. Whoop. And that is so fast. down and twist and through the waterfall. This has got a lot of ups and downs and rounds and into the station. Space Hamster says it's Thunder Mountain 2.0. It's good that one. I like that. Then this is always broken. Is it broken at the moment? No. This is Blue Snake Jungle which is one of my newest ones loads of flowers on this and happy people I hope Ooh, he doesn't look too happy he looks positively angry oh mine train coaster is just broken <laughs> when we got off it the restraints wouldn't close again oh well 
Who's been vandalising my coasters? Up we go on this nice wiggly entrance. We have got our feet in something, by the way. Otherwise, if this was fully suspended, it would be absolutely terrifying. So here we go. Nyang. Flaring out to the sides, going over the other track, shooting through the forest, back through the station building. So many flowers, so lovely. Can hardly see them. Whee! Oh! Swingy. I like that one. But it just breaks all the time. It's costing me money! Right, anyway. Awesome. So, we then have go-karts. Jungle carts, to be exact, because it's a bit jungly around here. And they have just come in, so we'll quickly get in the front cart so that nobody can beat us. At night, this has light-up bits. Those little pod things actually light up, which is awesome. <gasps> Got another grumpy man next to me. You'll be even more grumpy when I win. Here we go! We're going to win! Vroom! Oh no, he's overtaken me! No! Gonna get you. I'm coming around on the inside. And I know where to avoid the rocks that are in the middle of the track. When they shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm winning. After the first lap. Oh no. No, he's got me back again. Oh no. Boo. I'm gonna get you on the rocks again, mate. Because I know where they come out. <laughs> They're not supposed to be there. This game isn't too good at the whole clicking thing. Anyway, I win. That's all you need to know. That's pretty cool. We then have the monorail, but we'll get on that in a minute. The double ferris wheel takes ages, but I'll just let you see how high it goes. And this ride isn't exciting. Amazing view of everything from up here. Including my feet. Oh, we're going up again. We happen to have got on it at just the right time. There's the haunted house. You see, I think that's pretty cool. But apparently it isn't. Oh, I think it's just saving there. Sorry, it does that sometimes. Are we going to get stuck at the top? No, nope, we're coming down. But you can see other people on the roller coaster over there as well. I don't see what the problem is with this ride. I think it's great, but people complain. So, whatever. We've then got dodgems. Have you finished yet? How far are you off finishing? So that we get a full go on them. Are you done? Are you done? Yes. Excellent. Right, let's get on the old dodgems. Oh, dear. You've exhausted yourself, sir. Right, come on. Do they look dangerous? Do they look like they're going to try and get me? They look very serious. Oh, and they need the toilet to get... Stop getting on things when you need the toilet. It's not right. Anyway, look, I've got hands now. Let's go. Get him. Get the guy in the turquoise t-shirt. Really wind him up. Get him in a corner. <laughs> oh, eggs. Oh, straight into me. I tell you what, none of you can drive. Dreadful. <laughs> Dreadful. Oh, happy. And sparky. I like the sparks. The sparks are cool, but you can see them better from the outside. Oh, look at him. He's not happy. He's being bullied. He even took his hands off the wheel for a moment there, as if to say, I'm not doing this anymore. Now, there's a man who's happy about dodgems. <laughs> oh, there's the train. Are we all happy now? I think we're happier. Okay, not everybody, but... Largely. Oh, he had a pirate hat. Oh, Space Hamster's got to go. Goodbye, Space Hamster. We're all going to get on the train now. Choo-choo. 
Well, this is the one just coming into the station. Do you like my lights around the dodgems? You can't really have dodgems without loads of lights around them, can you? This was just a little ride that I managed to shove in a space, basically. It doesn't do anything particularly exciting, other than wheel me a few quid. It's probably a bit more runaway mine train than it should be. It does go through the graveyard and the haunted forests, though. That piece of fence is still there, isn't it? I can't get rid of it. There's some lanterns that I put on the bridge. So yeah, not the most exciting ride, but it serves a purpose. Nobody complains about it. What else have we got? We can't go in the haunted house because it won't let me go in in indoor things, which is a bit annoying. Oh, we've not gone on the drop tower. We'll just wait for the drop tower to come down again. It takes ages. Um, somebody's asked me, oh Dojan has asked me, have you played Planet Zoo? No, I haven't. I've <laughs> had this conversation many, many times. Um, no, because it's like 40 quid and I don't have 40 quid to spend on a game at the moment, but I am saving up some money for it. This takes ages to come back down. Come on! We need to go on it. You just get such a great view of the park from this. It's worth the wait, even if it does look absolutely terrifying. Oh, come on, even I'd want to get off it by now. I bet they're saying I want to get off it. No, they're not. Okay. Well, I can promise you that's what they're thinking. <laughs> I think it takes a full revolution really, really, really slowly. time today. Incidentally, that six dollars is just sort of stuck there. Whee. The more, the, the bigger your parks get, the less likely it is to catch up. Okay, right, let's get on. There's the pink trees again. Another person needing the toilet stop. Going on rides when you need the toilet. There's the carriages, the vanilla ice cream. I just think that's lovely. The views of the roller coasters are so cool. Who's screaming? We've not even started yet. Taking his hat off. Right, up we go, up we go. I would not go on a ride like this. What terrifies me is it's just said there's a shortage of ride parts and safety will suffer, so there is a very real chance we're going to die. This, I personally think, is the best view of the entire park. Because you're so close to all the roller coasters. You can see everything, it's great. There they are, look. There they are. Hello, we can wave to them. Look up! Why are you not going anywhere? Why are you not going anywhere? Oh man, I think it's broken. I think they're stuck. Ah! Oh, they're stuck on vanilla ice cream. We could spit on them and throw M&Ms. <laughs> Don't do that. Ha! Absolutely. Ha! We're on a working ride and you aren't. And we've got feet. I can't believe they got stuck there while we were on this. That's hilarious. It's a shame we can't see quite out. The view distance doesn't really cope at the moment, but it's still very cool. Have they fixed vanilla ice cream now? I can hear screaming, so I'm going to assume that they have. Yeah, there we go. And down they go into the tunnel. And we have just reached... The point of no return, I think. I don't understand how on earth this ride is like low, low, low. That is horrendous! 
You wouldn't want it to be any higher than that, would you? I certainly wouldn't. Anyway. <laughs> what is that one? Medium, medium, very low. I don't believe it. I'd bring up my lunch if I went on that one. So next up is this. And this is called Silver Streak. We'll just wait for the car to get back into the station so that we can join them. Lots of trees on this one. Incidentally, hello. Um, YouTube is packed out today. Welcome to you. We're just going round all the rides because this is our last day in Miracle Park today. We're going to start a new part next week with the DLC, which I'm very excited about. So we're taking the opportunity to ride all of the rides in this. And you haven't really missed anything because the most intense, horrific rides are at the other end of the park. We've got quite a way to go before we get there. So up we go. Hello. Hello, 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 fellow riders. <gasps> this is hanging on my feet. Oh, waving in the air like they just don't care. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, we're going to go upside down in a big loop. <laughs> now this is my kind of ride in real life. Reminds me of Kraken. Love the first drop on Kraken. It's amazing. And I love the helix loops. Down into the forest with trees taken away tactically so you don't bash your feet. That's a good ride. I like that one. Everybody in the queue is so happy. It's because they've already been on it, probably. I think that's cool. So over here, then, we have the boat dark ride. A bit of a change of pace, this one. This does have some drops, but we have to wait. It also has some really irritating music. Oh, we're actually just coming round to the station house here, so we got a bit of a free ride there. I've just heard somebody go, oh! That's what you get if you go to the toilet on a ride. Okay, so let's start again. This time I will be joined by some people. Robin Hood is in the carriage in front of us. Is anybody gonna gonna ride with us? Oh, hello! Oh dear. Blimey, she's had a bad trip. Oh, hello, hello! Oh. I am somebody now. There I am. <laughs> so away we go. The detail on this is amazing. Look at those lights coming on! Yay! All the little lanterns are going to be on. Splash! Oh no! Uh, uh. We're going to get rain on! Oh, can you hear the people behind me going, ah? <laughs> well, you are always going to get wet, even if it is raining, because of the water jets. It's brilliant. Oh, and there's the weird pink thing. We don't really know what that is. Pink trees, pink flowers, pink lights. Glowing things. And round a little corner back down into the river and we're all now absolutely blinking soaking wet thanks get off that one right some things now won't be running or people won't want to get on them we can't go on the observation tower which i think is a real shame i have a feeling you can go on the observation tower in roller coaster tycoon 2 but sadly you can't in this which is a real shame so as this ride is coming in we'll just quickly get on this one 
think this is called mini drop. And I did the florals myself on this one because this came about right at the start of the part when I hardly had any money. So I just bought the track and covered it in lanterns and trees. There's a first aid room over there incidentally if anybody needs one. I think I've got a cap on. <laughs> Skyfall. Well, well, well. There's some people on the mouse ride. That's called cheese something. Cheese chasers, I think it's called. <laughs> this is a roller coaster for people who don't really like roller coasters. Over the lake and in. You don't need to worry too much about that one, it's fine. What you need to worry about is this one because it's going to make you violently sick. You're welcome. I'm actually going to have to close my eyes during this one because it's bad. Hello! Right, this is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. It actually makes me feel ill. You were warned. I don't like it. It's too twisty. Alton Towers has a horrendous version of this where the, tr the cars also spin. I would just be so ill. So ill. Sonic Spinball, it's called. It's horrendous. There we are, above the lake. Very nice. You can be sick into the lake if you need to be. There we go. Phew! Jenny doesn't like that one. It even has one final twisty bendy bit just to really freak you out. Right, let's get off that. That's horrid. <laughs> Don't like it. Let's get off that and get onto this because obviously this is even better. This is going to do you the world of good. <clears throat> oh dear, oh dear. I tell you what, mate, if that's how you feel now, you're not going to feel any better after you've been on this. Who's going to be joining me? Nobody? Am I going to get the car to myself? I doubt it. No? Nobody? Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice pink hat to match your pink shirt. Classy. Okay, here we go then. This is the sort of thing I probably wouldn't go on either, although I'm not too bad with going upside down. It's the spinning round and round that I don't like. There's the observation tower up in the sky. Everybody will be on that at the moment because it's raining. Uh-oh. That, that tower isn't called the, uh, the lightning rod for nothing. <laughs> Gonna have to hope we don't get struck by lightning while we're on this. Do you want an ice cream and a drink? Just grab one quick. Oh, we're going upside down and getting rain in our faces. <laughs> I think it's the controlled way that you go upside down on that that's not very nice. There we go again. Oh, my word. It's not so bad when it's a quick upside down on a roller coaster, but with rain in your face, that's not too good. Ew. Nice lights, though. Nice lights. <laughs> Yikes. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'm amazed that they're still allowing people to go on that when in a thunderstorm, but hey. Speaking of rides, we probably shouldn't really be going on. Are they going to operate this while it's in a thunderstorm? Possibly they're not. Are we good to go? Are we good to go? No? Is anybody else getting on this? Am I going to get it to myself? 
Oh, boo. Why is nobody else getting on? I want to go. Pumpkin head, you'll go on it, won't you? Oh, he didn't. Oh, hello. Here we go. Not relaxing if you don't like this ride, of course. I went on one of these 180 feet in the air in America and it scared the living daylights out of me. This isn't too bad because at least you can see the ground. Oh dear. This doesn't go around too many times. That's okay, it's fine. Wow, phew! Right, is there anything else we haven't been? Oh, we've not been on the, we've not been on the balloons on this side of things. We'll go on the balloons and then we'll have a quick break. I'll have a quick drink and I'll have a look in the chat. Right, come on, balloons. Do you know what? That music is irritating the living, blinking daylights out of me. Shut up! Sorry, I just had to turn that off. Is there something else that we could put instead? How about this one? Ooh. Hip hop balloons. <laughs> Suddenly funky. Right, let's get on the balloons and then I will go back to the chat. <laughs> Hip hop balloons, yeah. The balloon race is always incredibly popular, I don't really know why. Last time I went on this, we had some people who were really grumpy. It's nice to see people go into the toilet though, isn't it? Oh, you seem really grumpy. I think it's because they've just come into the park. Oh, hello, who am I sharing my carriage with? A man with a top hat. Oh, man with a like bandana thing. Oh, that's weird. I hope you're not planning to vandalise things. Hello. Look at his eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? In fact, are you, have you all been on drugs again? <laughs> this park does have a drugs problem. She's miles away. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to watch the first live episode I did last week. <laughs> there were some issues around drugs. Anyway. Way! I can't tell whether they're incredibly happy or incredibly terrified. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick, this ride. Oh, that's a cool view. Fun for all the family, I'm sure we can agree. Oh, it goes on for ages, that. <laughs> I can't reduce the number of rounds on that one. Here we come, in for a landing. Oh, scared. It's okay, we're not going to hit the ground. Well, I say, I say we're not. We might not hit the ground. Oh, uh, that's a good one. I like that ride. Right. Uh, let's have a look in the chat at what you've been saying. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll scroll back to the ride first. Um, let's have a look. Do -do -do -do. Zarlark in Twitch says people chilling in this ride and you get money. It's a win-win. Dojan says Planet Zoo isn't worth £40 yet. Retro Mickey asks which theme parks I've been to and enjoyed. I think I talked about this last night. Um, I like Bush Gardens in Tampa. And I, I actually really like Alton Towers. And I like Chessington. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. Those are the ones that would stand out for me. 
Dojan says, I've never been on a roller coaster before. You've never been on a roller coaster before. Choose very wisely. Whatever you do, don't get on Sonic Flipping Spin Ball. You'll never get on a roller coaster again. Uh, oh, Draven Devere. Hello, I didn't realise you were here. Says, I've been on a rickety wooden version of this where the cars spin. Needless to say, I only ro rode it once. I think we're talking about the sort of Sonic Spin Ball-y type ride there. And we can all agree that everybody is incredibly wasted. I would agree with that. I think they are. So, I think we've done everything on this side of the park now. We can't go in the cinema, but we can go on the log flume. Just need to hope that this car is going from the beginning. Hello! Oh, this isn't going from the beginning. This isn't going from the beginning. That's the problem, is you do need to find the car that's approaching the station. Nope, that one isn't. How about this one? No! Oh well, we might just need to get on it and see what happens to us. We're going through my appallingly constructed hedge arch. Oh, we are just coming back to the beginning now. Everybody duck for the lanterns. It's a bit like 13 game of death. Anyway. Okay, in we come then. Do you like my flowers? Quite proud of my flowers. Who's joining me in my carriage? Nobody! I've got a carriage to myself. Awesome. Oh no, hang on. No, I haven't. Oh, do you need the toilet as well? Just go to the toilet! What is wrong with you? Right, is anybody else getting in? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's the splash seat. You're not going to like it. God, she looks really like me. That's weird. I might make that the thumbnail. That's terrifyingly me. Anyway. I like this one because it goes underneath the other track. And it just roams around. And takes your head off. And then it goes up. And hopefully we'll get some people splashing down while we're going up, maybe? No? Oh, that's a shame. We can see everybody else going around, which I think is kind of cool. And then I added a little tunnel here. Because I didn't really feel that this was exciting enough. It didn't make it any more exciting. <laughs> Yay! And up! I mean, wow. Did you not enjoy that? That looks so like me. That's absolutely terrifying. Anyway. We're going to see the lights again. Even the vending machines light up at night. How cool is that? It's the little details. We get a really good view from up here. There's my haunted house. And there's my amazing double ferris wheelie thing. And this is a big drop into the dark. Doosh. And up. At least you can see what's about to take your head off. Oh, I like the fact that you can see that roller coaster there as well. And then I think I amended this so it had one more drop in it. Hello to Bongo, says those sound effects. And isn't it great? It's so immersive. And those lights. Yay! Much better than Logger's Leap at Thought Park, that one. Oh my god. Except for the storm. But it's okay, we're under, under the thing here. <laughs> and then we chug a bit more and we wave, everybody wave. Wave at the other people, wave at the people on the bridge. Hello! Don't throw M&Ms at us! 
Are we going to get anybody coming down while we're going past? No. Oh, that's a shame. And we're back on the arch. And we've seen the arch before. Heading back into the station. Blimey, there's a very angry looking woman crossing the bridge there. I don't know what we've done to her. Hello! Everybody wave! Hello! Very social water rides, I think. You get to laugh at everybody else when they get wet. Awesome. What up, and kick your cat? What do you think? Still thrilled to bits, aren't you? Thrilled to bits. Wow, wow, indeed. Awesome. Brilliant. Right, we can now go on the horror that is Skyfall. Jenny doesn't like this one. Oh, hang on a minute. We want to go from the beginning, so we will join the other carriage in a moment. What I hate about this is you get stuck at the top while the other one is loading, which is horrible. Are we still at the top? Yes, we don't want to be at the top. We just need to wait for this other side to come down and then we can join it. For some reason, when you choose which carriage you want to be in, it it doesn't let you. It must just choose the lead carriage for you to go in. So there they are. This is supposed to imitate a parachute drop, apparently. Like a parachute jump, which I think is utter nonsense. There's the people on the rotating one just waiting to come down. You can see the vomit. <laughs> Don't look at the vomit. The vomit isn't there. It doesn't exist. This is a vomit-free park. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's... That looks like Jen. That looks like Jen Williams. What are you doing here? <laughs> Everybody's got a likeness in this park, you know. <laughs> my god, that's a selection of people and a half. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by a giant hat. <laughs> are you going to take that off? Here we go. This is another one of those rides I would not get on in a million years. Go up past Silver Streak. There's the top of vanilla ice cream. Don't look down. There's the gyro tower. I think these are about the same height. We can all wave, wave at the gyro tower. <laughs> Hello. I don't like it. We've got to wait for the queue line to move now. It's mean. The worst thing about this is it doesn't just drop you. It swings you at the end as well, which is just horrible. Right. Are you going to you going to get on? Oh, no. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. That's just awful. Why would you want to get on this? And yet it is one, one of the most popular rides in the park and has been forever. Do you need the toilet? Stop it! Stop that. Honestly, they're terrible. Okay, right. What else we got? We've been on all of these. We'll do the monorail maybe at the end. We've been on the double ferris wheel today. We've been on the dodgems. Oh, that means that next up, because we can't go on the cinema... Next up is the is the stoner rides. <clears throat> and if you don't believe me, you just wait until you see the state of people on this ride. It's really bad. <laughs> right, we could do with joining this from the beginning. Have we just come out of the station? No, we haven't. That's frustrating. Local Numpty has just had the cheek to say maybe it isn't the people, maybe it's the lack of toilets. Are you saying I've got a lack of toilets? That's not true. I do not have a lack of toilets. Look, toilet. We've got toilets. It's green, it's fine. They're just so desperate to get on the rides. Right, I really want to join the beginning of this. No, we're still not there. That's really annoying. We could be here forever. I'm not sure which of these little carriages are rim. Oh, well, we'll just have to get on one. Oh, hang on, that's the monorail. No, not the monorail. Right, we'll join the purple one. This is Stonerland. 
as you can see. <laughs> I mean, they're just so chilled, aren't they? They're so chilled. And so would you be on this ride. It's amazing. <laughs> Her face! Are we sure that's not Ms. Marvel? I think that might be Ms. Marvel. <laughs> that just never fails to make me laugh. Oh, they're having the best day ever. And now this will wake you up. Oh, it goes through water. I think that's a real shock at the end. <laughs> Get completely and utterly soaked by going through a wall of water. Oh, what can we hear? I can hear something being dropped. I don't know what it is. Anyway, we're back to the start now. Had a hat. So who's going to join us this time? Are you already chilled out? Oh, they are. Got a whole group of seriously chilled out people now. Oof. Look at him. Barely knows what his own name is. <laughs> I want to be him. There's the mushrooms. I think that says it all. And the lovely flowers. Oh look, absolute bliss. There's the big pod things that light up at night. And unfortunately we're not going to see that. That's a pity. Could have done with a storm. I just love the way that you can hear all this screaming and we're just completely chilled. <laughs> then we go through these beautiful gardens. Excellent use of trellis there, I have to say. Whoever designed this knew exactly what they were doing. In fairness, the sound effects of this game do feel like you're on a bit of a trip. Sometimes there's music, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes you just hear screaming. Oh, there's a space ride in the background there. You wait until we get to the space zone, that'll wake you up. Wow. It's genuinely terrifying. Ah. And relax. Makes you go round in a bit of a circle there. And then past all the pretty flowers. Do a nice little arch. <laughs> I just love that ride, I think it's great. Except for the water at the end. Which is just a mean twist. Oh dear. Anyway. I'm sure we've probably all fallen asleep now. Just heading back into the station on this now. Hello. Hiya, you right? <laughs> Unhappy person in that carriage, we can't have that. She's got on the right ride. <laughs> oh, glorious. And lovely tulips as well. yet this ride goes on forever or maybe it just feels like it goes on forever <laughs> is that 
singing coming from? Is it the train? Must be the train. We're never going to get back to reality. That's my biggest fear. I do want to go on something else. <laughs> oh god, there's two water bits. I didn't realise that. And we are in a thing with a roof on it, but it wouldn't stop you getting very, very wet. Oh, so much water. It's all gone trippy. Whoa. Yikes. And back to reality. Thank god for that. Right, anyway, that's the stoner ride. In case anybody didn't know. <laughs> Let's go on some really much more exciting things. Um, let's go on the Timo Twister. Well, well, well. This is named after Timo Warner, who I don't think is here today. It's not very popular, this ride. I used to love this ride when I was a kid. Now I'm not such a big fan. I love that feeling of being kind of shoved forward and then whipped back again. It's cool. <laughs> Incidentally, you are seeing a giant snowman, in case anybody thinks they're hallucinating after that last ride. One of the things in the souvenir shop at the moment is a snowman hat, presumably because it's Christmas. Ah, there we go. Right, now we're getting into the heavy stuff, so if you don't like roller coasters, this is not the place to be for you. We are about to get on some really super crazy stuff, so... Let's see where we are with this one. Ooh! I don't like it! This one is mad, which is why there is a first aid room just there. To your right, the first aid room, just in case you need it, because you will. Up we go! I don't like vertical lift hills. They freak me out. I don't like lying on my back on roller coasters. Let's just look down. Oh, yikes! Hang on to your hats. Amazing view of the space bit. Well, except it's disappearing, but... No! Straight down into a lake! Whoa! Did I put the lake there? Yes. Double helix. Straight through the water jets. Upside down again. I feel like we're flying, but not in a good way. And then we got stuck at the top because we have to wait for the other carriage to go. And then there is a little twist at the end to this one as well. After we've been finished... Uh, they finished chucking us around and making us think we're going to get really wet. We then get stuck in a tunnel. <laughs> Which obviously graphically you can't really see. But yeah, we get stuck in a tunnel for ages while they load the next carriages, so... It's okay if it's raining. Then we move up here into the space zone. We will begin with the best Enterprise ever built. Check this out. Is that not amazing? So much fog and mist. Oh, and so many unhappy people. <laughs> now, I don't think I'd get on this in real life because you're not strapped in, which is terrifying. I don't know why all these unhappy people are getting on this. Ah, because it's raining. Oh, we're going to see it with the lights on as well. That's cool. Zarlok says, there goes my lunch. <laughs> you're welcome. Right, here we go. If you haven't already lost your lunch, you're definitely going to lose it now. Ooh, trippy. <laughs> I just love that with the lights and the smoke. It's brilliant. The guy in front of me is having a whale of a time. Oh, I don't like it. It's not as bad as a couple of the things we've been on, but it's still terrifying. He is loving it. <laughs> Feel free to make your own woo noises. Woo in the chat. Woo! I mean, you've got to get seriously wet after that, haven't you? How is that a rain ride? <laughs> Space Hamster says, this would screw me up. Yep. Me too. Oh, yeah. I don't like that one. 
But if you don't like that one, you're definitely not going to like the next ones. I just need to warn you. I think we will do these in order of least intensity. So, 50, 69, and 69.4. So we'll go on this one first. This is Star Shuttle. And this is pretty bad, but it's by no means the worst thing we're about to ride. Here we go. It's got a quick lift hill. YouTube is filling the chat with woo. <laughs> woo and gra. <laughs> They're having a whale of a time in YouTube at the moment. Speaking of which, welcome to space. I like the spacey hum to this one in the background. You can hear it. Yikes, that is horrific. And the brakes stop us, so we just have to wait for a moment and then we get released again. And up and round and through the little space shed. And down again. So that one's not too bad. If you don't like your twists and turns, then, you know, it's not great, but it's not too bad. Have we joined this at the right time? Yes, we have. So this one, you go straight up. And then you hang on a bit, and then you come straight down. <laughs> and then you go around this big rock. I had to spend ages fixing this to make it work. Eventually I demolished it, and it started working again. So then we go down, and then up, and then down, and then round, and down, and up, and so much airtime. Through the monorail, rail, through the monorail twice. And up and in so that one again not i don't think that's too bad myself you're okay aren't you mr top hat dude he's fine he's fine he's lived at least so now i would strongly suggest that you turn away from the next one if you don't like rides because this is absolutely and utterly beyond terrifying now have we caught it at the right moment no we haven't sorry just gonna have to wait this one is quite bad. When I say quite bad, I mean really bad. This is the sort of roller coaster that you don't want to get on as your first roller coaster, okay? This is the sort of roller coaster you don't want to get on full stop. I promise you that this is not speeded up. This is genuinely what this roller coaster is like. I added a little bit of mist at the beginning. But all of the rest of this is the genuine coaster, as was made in Parkitect. I don't know whether this is a genuine coaster. I really hope that it isn't, because if it is, they've probably killed a lot of people by now. Space Hamster says this one is a death wish. <laughs> Mickey describes it as a barnstormer. Just know that you need to put your restraints on and hold on very, very, very tight for this. He's looking incredibly calm for a man who's about to die. <laughs> Here we go. Into the mist. And then... Kapow! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I don't like that bit. <laughs> I don't like any of it. <laughs> oh, there's the moon. There's the earth. There's the moon again. There's a UFO, there's a telescope, and we're going up and down and round. Let me off, I don't like it. Oh, and then the brakes just catch you slightly, and you think it's over. It's not over. And into the station. Oof. What a ride. It's quite a ride. Phew. That's easily the most intense thing that we have here. <laughs> Space Hamster in YouTube says, Ah, make it stop. <laughs> Let's all calm down by getting on the monorail. I can't promise it'll be this carriage on the monorail, but where have we joined it? We've joined it by the haunted house and the junior coaster in the lovely colourful forest. Hello! 
Anybody else getting in our carriage? I do hope not. Nope. Off we go. Ding, ding. It's the monorail that does the dinging. There's my forest with the mine train. And the blue jungle. And the go-karts. There's the double ferris wheel. There's that horrific, awful plunging into the lake coaster. Have you been on the awful plunging into the lake coaster? I don't think you'd be that happy if you had. There it is. We're going to get a good view of that. I like the lighting effects. Are we pulling into a station? Yes, we are. Are you getting off? No, he's staying on. It's a bargain, this ride, if you go all the way around. One day, my aim is to make it free so that you can go around the park for free. So, off we go into the space zone. There's the big UFO. This is so awesome. There's the big space camp ride. You're all mad. Can't actually see any carriages going around. It's got a little satellite on the top of it. I didn't notice that. Satellite dish, I mean. So we've not built in this bit because I don't believe in land. So we're just pulling into the space monorail station now. Are you going to get off here and go on that crazy ride? Oh, he is. Good luck, sir. You're going to need it. <laughs> I can see some litter on the ground. It makes me want to leap out and grab it. Look at them, they're mad. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> that makes me happy. This game makes me happy, I love it. I'm gonna be even happier on Wednesday when it's got some extra bits. Oh, hello. I didn't realise you'd join me. How are you doing? She looks happy. So we're coming back into the sort of fairgroundy bit now. There's a station here in case space rides are not your thing and you'd much rather get the sun in your eyes. Whoa! The sun's in my eyes and I can't see anything. Boo! No, oh, it's actually raining. We're going to get a rainbow. Sun plus rain equals rainbow in my world. Oh, it's lighting up everything anyway. I don't know how much of a view of it we'll get from this carriage, but let's see. Are we moving off? Are we going? I think we might be waiting for another station, actually. There's the stoner ride. <laughs> Get a good view of that. Ah, I know why the sun is quite as bright as it is. There's the crazy lake ride. Hey, there's the double ferris wheel. And the dodgems. The haunted house and the little train. Jungle coaster. God, why is it so bright? Have we set on fire? I suppose that is a possibility. I mean, it's not like it hasn't happened before. You can see there on the coaster that all of the little pod things have lit up, which is kind of cool. Anybody joining me this time around? No? No. Get the carriage all to myself. Lovely. It's great, this, isn't it? I love it. Hello to Matt Not Food in Twitch. We're just on the final ride, I'm afraid. Just going round the park for one last time. Because after this, we'll be moving on to a different park. We'll be creating a new park with all of the bits from the DLC. So there is... Um, ooh, do you know, I can't remember. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm just going to have a quick look, actually as to what is in the DLC. Oh, so I can't get the mouse pointer back. Hang on. Oh, I can't do that. Right, I'm just going to have to remember. River Rapids, that's the main thing for me. I wanted River Rapids. And we've got that. And we've got vouchers. <laughs> Somebody's been on the stoner ride. We've got vouchers for free drink and free entry to the park, which will make playing with um, a one entry fee at the gate model much, much easier. And we've got a couple of new thrill rides. 
I think one's called experience. And we've got a thing where it makes it easier to build roller coasters, like it remembers all of your settings, so that if you delete some bits of track, like I do all the time, because I'm useless at building roller coasters, the game will save your settings so you don't have to reset it all again. And then I think there's another kind of roller coaster. It might even be one of those spinny ones. And there's something else that I was really excited about. New food. New food. There's cookies. There's a t-shirt shop in the souvenir thing. There's more food as well. What is it? I think there might be a different kind of drink. I'd have to go and look that up, but yeah. It's awesome. Mick says, are they pulling this park down? No, they're not pulling it down. It will carry on just without my expert help. But do have a think about what you might like to build. Go and, go and have a look at the new bits and pieces. Oh, local numpty in Twitch says it's sub sandwiches and corn dogs. That was it. I couldn't remember it because it's got a giant corn dog outside. But yeah, sub sandwiches is definitely one you used to be able to get in roller coaster tycoon because they all walk around with these enormous sandwiches. I like your hat. I love the way that they buy hats that match their clothes. It's brilliant. So yeah, needless to say, sub sandwiches and corn dogs and cookies are a definite. We'll absolutely be having those, no question at all. But yeah, do have a think about what rides you'd like and any theming ideas and don't expect too much out of me, but you know. And we'll take a last look here at Miracle Park. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. This makes me so happy. What I'd really like is a proper night mode so it actually goes in a day and night cycle. Because at the moment you only get the night cycle when all the lights come on. If it's wet, which seems a bit bad to me, I want it to be day-night cycle all the time so that we can see the pretty lights. I'd also like more light options and that kind of thing, but who knows what they might introduce. I'll probably also go and raid the workshop and see if there's any other bits and pieces. Local Numpty says we expect only the best. Well, you can expect the best, but that doesn't stop the fact that you're probably going to get the worst. But I think this has been extraordinarily profitable, and we've now been on this this uh, monorail twice around. So I think it might be time for me to go. I've got a very long day tomorrow, unfortunately, so I'm going to leave you here with this amazing view of the super amazing lake ride and the sounds of screaming in your ears. Thank you all for joining me. It's been awesome. I've loved every minute of it. And uh, hopefully we will all do this again soon. Right, I need to get out of this window. And there we go. And uh, I will see you all at some point in the future. I'm hoping for Wednesday night for the stream. I just realized I'm about to hit 100,000 in my bank account. 100,000. Also, I've noticed I've got somebody in Twitch called TH059. I don't know you. I hope you haven't just turned up because I'm just about to go. But it's been so awesome having you all here. Um, thanks to some new subscribers. Thanks to people who host. Thanks to people who like. Please like. It costs you nothing and means everything. And uh, you can always go back and DVR all of this anyway. There should be some new emotes hopefully soon. The more subscribers I get in Twitch. You can always join me on Patreon. There's loads of extra content and stuff on Patreon. You can join me on the Discord. Is this ever going to get to 100,000? Come on, I just feel like there's a seminal moment here. Tux Taco's Tower of Death and Doom is broken again. We expect nothing less. Look out for a new episode of the movies. That'll be coming soon. There's a new episode of Skyrim out. Just get to 100,000, would you? Please! And then I can go! Yay! Awesome! Oh, I'm so pleased. Right, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for coming. And I will see you, hopefully, on Wednesday. <laughs>